All right, so I made it back to Tesla uh, Service Center here in Las Vegas, and um, we're gonna go pick up the vehicle right now and see what's wrong with it, and uh, see uh, what the actual root cause is of the uh, of the leak that we had uh, a week ago. So, we'll go ahead and go inside here and check this out right now. So this Tesla dealership was pretty nice here in Vegas. Um, pretty convenient, uh, conveniently located next to the Strip. Um, and so I went ahead and uh, walked on through and I uh, was going to go straight to the service department. But I decided to kind of give you guys a little bit of a tour of what it looks like inside if you were going to buy a vehicle. So obviously they got the vehicles up front where you can kind of take a look at the models. They probably have some vehicles a test drive. Um, and then they got a lounge area where you're waiting uh, to buy your car. But the service department is right out this door right here. And you can see the red car I was using as a rental. Um, and uh, of course, to the right is the one of the garages. So here's some of the pictures. This first picture is under the car. Um, and this is one of the mats that sits underneath the vehicle. And then uh, looks like some part of the motor. Um, and here's an additional view in of the leak. Um, you can see the radiator. Um, which was what was damaged. Um, here's another picture of the radiator showing some damage, the blue coolant everywhere. And here's a video they provided me. Um, again, really, really hard to see what actually occurred, um, but this is all I got from the service center. All right, so here's my car, it's back. Uh, we got it on the supercharger right now, and I got a service advisor with me, Urban. He uh, helped me out with the vehicle and got it all squared away, so. Um, Urban, do you mind uh, explaining yeah, a little bit what happened? Hey, this is Urban. Uh, so right now we just had a car complete today. What is it, August, August 2nd, we were here like for a week. Uh, the car had a hole in the radiator, so what happened probably, we think, most likely it happened, just a rock hit on the fan, and the fan just bounced back, which had caused a hole in the radiator. We were able to replace it. Right now, the only issue we had, it was this uh, window that it was not calibrated. I didn't want Michael to come back all the way back to Vegas on one day, so he's all good to go. Yeah, and so, Urban, does this does this happen a lot, like with some of the vehicles that you're I seeing? I feel like it's a lot of construction side, or if it's a rock, you never know. It's just something that's on the environment, so. Okay. For this week, this is the second car we got for the same issue. Hopefully, we don't get more, because we're going to be stranded on, I don't know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much, Anytime, Urban. I appreciate Michael. it, man. Yep. All right, you take care, all right? Oh. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Yes, likewise. Okay, okay. Yes, like, thank you. So, like he said, a, a rock uh, looks like it penetrated through the radiator or through uh, maybe through the grill to the bottom of the car. Uh, I didn't really get the specifics on that, um, but uh, yeah, um, it pierced through the radiator, caused a leak. And uh, when I was speaking to him earlier, they said that the radiator is one of the easier jobs to do. Uh, they just got to remove it from or, or replace the radiator through the front or through the bottom of the vehicle. I think is what they were saying. Um, so not very hard at all. But yep, here we are. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Got the vehicle back. Funny story is we got the vehicle back and one of the passenger windows wasn't going down. Um, fortunately, one of the managers came and actually had to calibrate the window for us. So we got that squared away. Um, super easy fix. But we should be back on our way uh, to Los Angeles now and uh, shouldn't have any more problems. But um, it's a question I still have, and maybe some of you guys can leave comments down below, is how do you prevent future rocks from actually penetrating through the radiator? I mean, because this was uh, initially quoted at like $1,700. They wanted me to replace all the pumps and some hoses and some stuff, uh, but apparently all that stuff came back functionally uh, operating uh, normal conditions, so we don't need to replace those parts. And it came down to only replacing the radiator, which is about $500 now uh, with parts and labor. So let me let me know, leave a comment down below if you think there's something that I can do uh, to prevent future radiator punctures um, from debris or rocks uh, while traveling long distance. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.